hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't fail to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel in this video I'm going to be showing you how I designed the top you saw on my top nail I'm going to be showing you the drafting and these are the measurements which I used to create that child blouse and let's get drafting so in this drafting today i'll be using my my tape measure i'll be using my base my tape my my ruler and i'll also be using this as well so let's get drafting so before I start, I will show you what I did here. Um, here is my front panel and this is my back panel. So my, for my back panel, I took out 2 inches for my zipper allowance. And uh, what I did was that on the top here, you can see a marking here. This is where I'm going to start my drafting from. I took out 1 inch for my shoulder stop allowance. So, I now place it behind my zipper allowance like this. Then I'm going to pin it up. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is this. Uh, first of all, take my shoulder to my shoulder. The shoulder to the shoulder is 13 inches. So, I had a five, half an inch for my sewing allowance to add my ham my sleeve to it which is 30 and a half divided by two what you have is 6.6 .6. so i'll go to this top like this from here behind my zipper allowance i'll take out 6.6 .6 here this one 6.6 .6. i'll mark it out then i'll go under the 6.6 .6. i'll come down by one inch here Then for the side neck uh, width is 2.6 so going like this I put in 2.6 here like so then for the neck depth is also 2.6 uh, so go down like this make it 2.6 then I'm going to use my free hand to create a round neck curve for the child so like this So after doing that, I will now come connect my shoulder slope to my neckline here like so. So the next step is to now put in my ham hole for the child. The ham hole for the child, the round ham hole is 14.5. So I divide by 2, what I have is 7.3. So here, I will come down by 7.3 here like so. So I had two inches to make it 7.5. I'll just run it up to 7.5. So here yeah, I put in 7.5 here. So I'll now connect the line from here to there. Next step now is to now connect the line from here to here. That will now be my chest line for the child. Now the next step. Is to now put in my vertical measurement, which is also called your straight body measurement. So from my from my shoulder from my shoulder to the waist of the child is 12.5. So I'll place my tape measure here like so. Measure 12.5 here like this. Then at this spot here, I'll now roll it, roll the line from here to there. So after doing that, the next step is I will now create a put in uh, one and a half inch my sewing allowance here. So I'll mark a one one and a half inch here, one and a half inch here. Then I will mark it out. That's be my sewing allowance. So after bringing up my straight body measurement, the next thing I'm going to do 
is to now put in my round body measurement I will start with the ham hole so what I'm going to do here I'll find the midpoint of my ham hole remember it's 7.5 so I'll divide 7.5 by 2 what I have is what I'm going to put here if you don't want to use a calculator you can use your tape measure to divide it to 2 so simply put the top of your tape measure like this put it to the end of the 7.5 smoothing it out then you place it here like so that's not, that will not be your midpoint so after doing that you come in by half an inch here straighten that out then for your back arm hole, you just find the midpoint of that half an inch. Midpoint of that half an inch, just place it here like so. And here is your midpoint. That would be for your arm hole curve. So here is my midpoint for my arm hole. Here is my front sleeve arm hole. Here is my back sleeve arm hole. So after getting my midpoint, the next thing I now put in my round body measurements. So the round shirt measure for the child is 28.2. I divide by 4, what I have is 7.5. So I just come here like this. I put it 7.5 here like so. I'm going to extend it to this spot here. So after doing that, the next thing, I will now put in my my curve to create my ham hole curve from here and now connect it from this spot here from this spot here to this spot from this spot here to this spot to this spot so i will now create a ham hole curve for my front sleeve so after doing my ham hole the next thing i'll go I'll go to my waistline my waistline round is 25 and a half if I divide by 4, what I have is 6.4. So, here, yeah, I come here like this. I put in 6. I'm just trying to 6.5. Here, like so. So, what I do here, I also put the same measurement on my sewing allowance as well. I'll simply bring it down like this. And then, I'll create a curve like so. From here, from this spot here. To this spot and to this spot so now i'm going to create the sleeve curve for my back panel i'll simply place my hair like this i just from this spot here connect the dots from there yeah that will be for my for my back panel sleeve so after doing this, the next thing I'll now add my sewing allowance and my allowance for the for the blouse. So my allowance for the blouse I'm going to add is one inch. But as a child, I would recommend you put one and a half inch, you know, to make it freer for the child. Put in one and a half inch. That is for my allowance for the child. Then for the sleeve, I put in one inch only. So yeah, for the sleeve, for the hand hole, so for the hand hole is one inch. Then for the waist, I put in one and a half inch. So I'm just going to connect the dot from here. From here to there. After putting my allowances, I will now simply now draw my ham, extend my ham hole this way. So my ham hole is now extended. So, after doing that, I will now put in my sewing allowance. My sewing allowance is, is one inch there, one inch, and one inch. So I'll now connect the dot from there to 
to the bottom. So I've drawn out my sewing allowance in this place. So the next thing I'm going to put in my sewing allowance at my shoulder slope. So what I simply do here is this. I'll take one inch. I will follow the curve of my shoulder slope like this. Go to this side as well, follow the curve. To this side, follow the curve as well. So after doing that, I'll mark it out. So friends, as you can see, I've drawn out my shoulder slope. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out from this way, straight down. And I'll cut from there, 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 and there, and there. After doing that, I'll come back and show you the next step. So friends, before cutting out your pattern, ensure that you put all your pins inside the pattern drafting. So when you're cutting out your pattern, it will not move. So you can see all my pins are inside. So now I'm going to cut it. So friends, as you can see, I finished drafting out the pattern for the front panel so i've cut it out so what i'm going to do next is for the back panel you see the front panel my chest line i'm going to extend it my waistline for the child i will extend it as well then my sewing allowance you know it's already here so what i'm going to do here Now, I'm not take out my pins from this. So now, this is the back panel. My back panel, I'm going to make it to be deep. Yeah, deep. So I'm going to make it six inches. So from here, from this line here, remember this is for my sewing allowance. From this line here, I'll cut at, I'll mark it at six inches. Then I'll take my curve ruler to connect the curve. See what I'm doing now? That's my back panel. So, this is how I want my back panel to be. My back panel is now 6 inches by the neck depth. So, now I'm going to cut it out. So, after cutting out my back panel neck depth, you know our back is not straight. It's our back is curvy. So, what I'm going to do here, right, I'll find the main spot from this, my back panel, to the back here. Let me put my chest line here. For my chest line to here is uh, here is a mid spot. So now I'm going to bend it like this. That's for my chest line for the child. So I'll come in by just a little bit, like uh, like. Three, three quarter, I don't know how you call it in the three quarter. So I came in like this one. I just three, three there like this, yeah. So now I'm going to I'm going to use my free hand. As you can see, this is my chest line, yeah. I didn't want to mark it and let me mark it so you can understand. This is my chest line, and this is my waistline for the child. So now I use my free hand to connect it, create a curve from here. From here, like so. You see? Then from that angle, I'll start measuring at uh, my 2 inches zipper allowance. 
you see from there two inches zip allowance So you can see it's no longer straight, it's not curvy. So I'm going to cut it out from there, from there to there. So friends, this is the back panel which I've done now. And this is the front panel. So now I'm going to open the back panel for you to understand what I did. So this is the back panel. Let's see how it looks like now. See, this is the back panel, and this is the front panel. Remember, there's a zipper allowance here, don't forget zipper allowance. You can see this is my back panel. I've folded my zipper allowance, which is the two inches. So, this is how my back panel looks like. So, I'll show you how my front panel looks like. Friends, this is how the front panel looks like. You can see it's all equal so now to cut out the flare for the bottom of the top I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it the cut at the bottom you can see here I've already calculated it out the calculation of the flare the length of the flare from my waist to my hip length for that child is 8 inches right so the calculation of the flare if you want to calculate the flare, you use your waist measurement. When the round waist measurement is 25 and a half inches. Then I also had the one and a half inches which I had it for my for my body allowance, which is on this spot here. You have to add it to the flare as well. So if you had it together for both sides, then you now had your four inches for your zipper allowance at the back. Your four inches zipper allowance. You need to have that as well because you're going to you're going to uh, bend the flare to put in your zip allowance on the flare as well so you're going to have all together what you're going to have is 2.5 inches divided 2.5 inches yeah so you now divide it by 6.28 what you're going to get is 5.2 so that's what you're going to use to cut out your flare so if you if you want to know how to fold your fabric for your flare this is what you do. You see, let's say this is your fabric. You just fold it together like this. Then you fold it like this again. Then when you fold your your fabric like that, then you calculate out your radius from there. I did a video on how to calculate your flare, how to cut a flare. So have a look at that video where I took my time to explain it. So after doing that, what I want to show you is this. You put in one inch. Yeah. That one inch. Yeah. You put one inch here. That one inch is for you to add your flare to your body blouse. It's like a sewing allowance. It's for you to add it bottom of the flare to the body of the blouse then when you get to this spot after calculating the length of the flare you want to cut out then you cross it like this again then you need to add one inch at the bottom of the flare this one inch is for your sewing allowance to tidy up the bottom of the flare if you have a surgery you can use that one to tidy it up so after doing that, if you want to cut it, you cut it like this. And like this as well. So, this is what you're going to have. So, if you want to add it to your gown, you just cut it like this as well. To open it up. So you can open it up like this. Yeah. When you take it up, then you now add it to your bottom of your blouse. So my friends, that's that's the formula on how to create that top for that child. 
so if you like my video please don't fail to hit the like subscribe button and share my video and also give me my thumbs button a like and also please subscribe and for now let me go one piece one love and bye for now but before you go if you don't understand how i cut out the flare i did lots of series of video on how to cut out to flare have a look at that video i where it is a basic formula on how to cut out to flare so for now one piece one love and bye for now so friends so for the sleeve i did a video on how to draft out your sleeve you can also use the same formula for a child as well go to my video content you see where i taught the formula on how to draft out your sleeve curve how to measure your sleeve curve i have to draft out the length of your sleeve if you look at those videos there you also you can also apply that formula on a child as well so have a look at that video so that's what i used to draft out the sleeve the sleeve length for this top is the short sleeve before the elbow after the bicep so have a look at that videos there you will learn how to draft out your sleeve for the child so now let me go for now